Hello, literally everyone in the world. I assume everyone in the world watches this eventually. It's at a certain point people stop making videos and people are left with no recourse but just to watch this. Ooh, ice cream cone. Ah, this is the third most evil ice cream cone I've ever encountered. I really, um, I'm playing a little, this is me, uh, uh, Blake BS from the Super Spears Brothers team. Oh, I died. I did not have much life. Um, I'm playing a little bit of Panic Restaurant, which if you ask me is one of the best themes, oops, um, out there in the classic gaming universe. Just, uh, just basically every enemy, every sequence, every scene, drips with uh, confidence in its setting, and it's really nice to see. Um, the game, you get like I've said before, that very few people that I know have ever played. I certainly never played it as a kid. Um, it's not not up there with like your Super Mario Brothers three or your ooh, look at that, or your Zeldas or the such like. But it's really great, and uh, I'm I'm coming up to the last uh, last level, so this is pretty exciting. I've I've. I haven't lost any continues yet, but I expect to soon since I have hardly any coins. It's a neat game. This is the um, the mini game in between levels where you have to try and get extra lives. Oh, that was close. I actually have realized I really don't want to have to continue because I'll actually start, I believe, fuck, um, with um, your base level of hearts. It's going to be pretty tricky in the last world to catch up though, so I've got essentially two solid lives to get through the last level. And having been through a bit of this before, I think that this is actually the last level. I don't think this is one of those, does, does one of those Capcom things where the, a line will draw and then like um, Dr. Wily will show that, that, oh, I've actually got a whole other place. Oh yeah, there's a second Dr. Wily and a third one. Oh, don't forget. The real boss is actually Dr. Cossack. Those fish bother me. I love this guy's little bouncy beard, bouncy mustache. It just seems like it's a uh, little worm having a sex party in his mouth. I don't know what's wrong with the back of his head. It's like Charlie Brown is looking down on you while you're climbing. Alright. Um, I've really liked so far. Should I switch to... That thing, it's easier to use, but this thing is pretty good too. Um, I've liked how every enemy is is definitely a, a very effective um, use of the theme. This one's a little bit of a stretch. It definitely has more of sort of a Halloween monster look than and a food look, but overall, it's really effective at its, at its theming. Ooh, and I'm not sure why Pothead makes you invincible, but I am getting hungry for some fries. Just looking, looking at the. The old pothead over here. Right. Now I think I really need my magic hat. Extra life. That was really nice. Oh! Throwing is very effective in this area. Must remember that. It's unfortunate, but, you know, clever game design. It's unfortunate that you, um, so easily lose your power ups because it is really easy to lose power up in this game. I'm not sure I like that the spikes have no transparency, but... There we go. Oh, Jesus. I forgot. The spikes are very hard to dodge. Wait. We're coming through a section now with no power-ups. Down to one life. It is not looking good for me. 